Hey guys, Mauro here. On the one-handed backhand, one of the things that are uh, very important is to have the right timing with both arms doing the counterbalance. One of the things, one of the things that you really want to pay attention is when you're turning, when you do your rotation to hit the ball first. Um, it, this is like a customized thing. How much you're gonna turn? One thing I can tell you that is going that can really change a lot that can really help a lot in your backhand, especially get acceleration when you when 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 you react quickly and when that ball is bouncing deep, is your rotation. You want you really want to turn. If you pay attention to the, uh, the one-handed players, if you go and you go in Google pictures of uh, Gasquet or Feather or Warinka, one thing you want to notice is there is one common denominator, and that is that they're they're turning pretty well on their side. They just they just don't kind of fence the the, um, the side fence. They they go a little more. They picking over the ball. They picking the ball over their shoulder. So they have a really good rotation on, on that backhand. And one thing that you really want to pay attention is when you're swinging, when 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 you bring in, when you turn and you bring that racket back. If you just turn enough, it's very easy. The, the racket is usually gonna go and stay on this side of, on your left hand side facing the fence. It's not really going to come a little further back, but it's going to do a longer rotation and gain more speed. So what, that's that's one reason why you want to make sure that you turn, that you make a good turn to bring that racket behind you more kind of pointing towards the corner of the back fence. And another thing you want to pay attention to is, and, and this is vital, generating. This is going to help you generate speed even in short distances and it's going to help you get the right timing and if you keep the arm extended focusing on making contact with the arm extend is you bring the racket back you get the racket in this position and when you let it go when you let it go forward you want to you don't want to let it go you don't want to let that racket go too early and then counterbalance you want to feel that that left hand is coming with your racket and comes all the way here i would say till you are it, it almost getting to to my right pocket, to my left pocket here. So the ball is coming, and I let it go. When I'm about to make, I'm, I'm, when I'm about to make contact, pretty much, that's when I let it go. And what does it do? Well, the thing is, if you have been following my videos, I always say, lagging the racket, lagging the racket. When the racket comes in a lagging position towards the ball, that's much easier to give you top spin, to give you power especially hit that ball clean, clean, center. So you want to lag that racket forehand and backhand. When you hold that racket with the left hand longer, it doesn't allow your racket, if you let go too early, that racket is going to start to open right away. A lot of people have that tendency that it's starting to open right away. Instead of letting it go, kind of what, what I call the arrow position, this arrow formation with my arm and the racket. You, that's what you want to feel because the racket is going to form that arrow is going to be lagging and then it opens in swing so if I let go too early I'm not going to get I'm not going to get to do that arrow position my, I'm, I, I love, my racket starts might start opening a little bit too early so you start doing that kind of clock uh, the, the, the clock hand kind of back end that instead of the racket coming lagging 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 and then it opening it starts opening too early so it goes like a clock hand like that so that's what the left hand holding longer in the and that racket is gonna do to get to that position where you're about to hit and and you still lagging the racket is still still coming in that direction towards the ball okay and another thing that you want to pay attention to is that when when you let it go your your right hand is on the grip but it's gonna be totally relaxed that is one that is it's unbelievable to believe this, but that's actually what allows you to turn fast. Why? Because when we have a tight hand, like choking the grip, it gets tense the arm, gets tense the shoulder, and it goes to the body. It gets tense or jaws, and that goes to the body. Usually the arms are tense, the, um, your face gets tense, the jaws. When the face is tense, your whole body is gonna be tense, guys. I can guarantee you that, pay attention. Yeah. When you're feeling like you're grinding teeth or, you're, or your jaws are tense, the rest of your body is a fact that it's gonna be tense. So one thing that you wanna pay attention is you gotta, you gotta really relax that right hand on the grip. See, it's almost like ready, 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 go. And when you're about, when you're about, you pull the trigger and when you're about to let go here, okay, 
boom, you just let it go and holding the racket with the right hand, of course. But you got to feel that right hand relax all the way, almost like saying, my hand is just barely touching the racket. It's just, it's on top of it, it's leaning on it, it's resting, it's resting on my grip. It's not choking and it's not grabbing it. It's just resting on my grip and then at the last moment, I let it go. I let it go once I pull the trigger and I wanna pay attention on working, feeling more the acceleration with my forearm coming ac across my body not so much down and up down and up is a rotor coaster that's where you that's where you usually want to hit with more top spin and you rally more for consistency but you want to hit that ball with a little more power then you're gonna let it go a little more across your body and up but it's your forearm that that's gonna be working so remember that's one thing that you want to pay attention make sure you rotate well enough so your own coil is gonna generate good power everything always coming from the core it's like you're, t like, like you're punching, like you're tossing a sack of potatoes. Remember, you want to pay attention to lagging the racket, hold it till the last moment, and then let it go so your racket gets a good angle and feel more like you're working with your forearm, not so much going up, but bringing it more across the body and around, okay? And another thing is finishing, when you finish here, racket standing, then finishing here, it really makes a difference. It gives you a lot more top spin when you finish all the way here. You're gonna notice that right away. It's gonna give you more consistency than when you finish it here. When you finish short, many times is when you're trying to control that ball more going in one direction, like down the line. See, you, you, you swing it and you stop the racket there. You're not trying, it, it's very easy to mishit it, you go all the way. So pay attention also how you're finishing, but I really suggest let that vodka point forward when you're done and that's going to give you a lot more consistency and a lot more spin on the ball. All right, guys. Well, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know your questions, suggestions. Just go out there, stay centered, be bold and be perseverant. Good to see you again. Bye.